What is going on everyone? This is DK Magician and I welcome you to another Flash Showcase. The game I will present you today is Box Head to Play, which is a pretty simple survival game which is fantastic to play with your friend if you got it to play next to you in your house, you know, because this is like split keyboard games. Those type of, of games, you know, from all times where you didn't have internet connection that's easily available. Hmm. God, I'm getting older. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> Let's go. So we're gonna play single player right here and uh, we're gonna select that you can play with different characters. We're gonna be Bind, Jim's Bind, and we're gonna select a level, I mean, there are plenty level, a lot of levels right here that you can play. And I think I want to play a small one. Let me see. So I don't have to wander around and look for enemies. I think it's funnier this way and with more action. Just play boxy? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, this is a pretty small level, so the controls are pretty simple as well. Just wander around and you shoot. And that's pretty much it. You can also shoot these barrels in order for you to kill more. And uh, it's a good idea to get like a lot of kills in a row because it will give you upgrades. You see those that counter over there that says times four, times five, times yeah, it's a combo counter. And uh, level two, as you progress in levels, um, there will be more of these guys, and they will be stronger. And there are also those mini bosses that are quite dangerous because they take quite a lot to go down. Those levels right here, friendly guys that don't want to die, and they, you know, they will redirect your fire, and that kind of sucks. Uh, let's let's use this one a little bit. Okay, shotgun should be nice, I guess. I remember shotgun being pretty good in this game. Yeah, mostly because it one-shots these guys. And yes, you can see that we're getting plenty of levels right here. Also, did I mention that these guys are ranged? Because they are. Also, that they take quite a while to die. Yeah, because they do. Come on. Yay! Let's test out the barrels. Barrels are pretty simple. You can just do this. You prepare until enemies arrive and, well, you just go kaboom. You can also throw grenades, which grenades do what grenades should be expected to do. Let's use the use a little bit. Okay, we killed quite a few in a row, which is pretty cool. Back to the shotgun. And yes, you can see that we're getting quite decent combo. So we're doing just fine. Walls, walls are pretty nice because you can redirect your enemies like this. They can go down though. Oops. I don't like you, dude. Go away. Okay, cluster explosions are pretty fun. Also, in case uh, you are wondering, there is friendly fire activated in this mod. You can disable it if you want to. Uh, quite honestly, I am not going to do that because I'm playing this in somewhat like normal way. But in case you want to proceed this in this game like way more than I am, like probably going to do today, um, you can do it if you want to. Let's test out the other weapons as well. Walls, mines. Okay, mines are pretty simple. You just place them and when enemies come closer, they go kaboom. I think you have to be careful in order not to be too close to it. Oh no, oh no! <gasps> no, 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 no. Oof. Okay. That was a quite narrow escape, guys. Like, way more narrow than I would have liked to, but we did escape. 
so that is pretty decent. Also, these guys can also attack their allies, which he, I like. You know, there's friendly fire for your enemies as well. Come here, devil. Stupid devil. Nice. We got a rapid fire on our shotgun. It should be cool as well. Let's use this one for now, though. Okay, let's focus on this guy, he's very dangerous, and he's dead! Oh look, another one! I think I'm gonna... Oh, okay, this is... <laughs> okay, this is why I like the switch button so much. When it's upgraded enough, it just kills, you know, like this. <laughs> Let's put some more walls right here. I think you can lock them forever. And actually, yes, you can. But devils can get free of here, I guess, if they spawn. You can just, you know, stun lock or trap a devil like this. They will destroy the walls. Like that. <laughs> it's okay though. I feel more confident to just deal with the enemies from one side, though. Okay, we're getting quite a lot of upgrades right here. Let's use the grenades, I guess? <gasps> oh my god, this was so stupid. <laughs> okay, this wasn't our purpose, guys, I swear. I just... Thought that he threw a grenade like through the middle of the walls, but apparently he just threw it at his feet. Oh well, that's you know uh, how to not use a grenade. <laughs> well, guys, as I said, this is a pretty simple game. It's just like this. But I remember spending a few hours in this game uh, with uh, my friends, uh, one on on each side of the keyboard. Uh, if you do have it, do play it. Go cooperative and. Uh, for the love of God, for the love of God, go here and just disable friendly fire, otherwise we'll be shooting each other. Or maybe that's part of the fun, I don't really know. <laughs> well guys, that was all for this Flash Showcase, I hope you did enjoy this video. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around for the next one. Bye bye!